In this video, we will see how we can use VLOOKUP formula with switch formula. We have monthly sales data in different sheets with headers as product ID, product unit price, quantity and total. All the months have same, all the months or all the sheets have the same headers and product IDs are also the same. So you can see all the product IDs are the same in each and every sheet. Suppose you have sales data in different months, which are in different sheets and you need to fetch values from the month sheet based on the product ID or some other ID. Let's see how we are going to fetch the values. First of all, in all sheets, we'll convert the data to a table and we'll assign a table name. These table names will be used in the switch formula, which we'll see it later. So to convert the data to table, we'll click in the We'll click on any of the cell, press Ctrl A and press Ctrl T. Make sure that you have my table has headers is checked and click OK. So once you click OK, the data will be converted into the table and we'll assign a table name here. So this is April month. We'll give the table name as EBLAPR. Again, we'll convert the data to table in the month of May. We'll assign the name as TBLMAY and we'll do the same thing for rest of the table sheets. I created a sheet here with the name of values where I've copied the same headers which are in other sheets and in this sheet we are going to fetch the data from other sheets. In the third row we are going to enter the month based on the month and product ID we will fetch the values. First we'll populate all the sheet names which are in months in this cell. To get the list of sheet names, I've already made a video and the link has been given in the description box or you can see the video by clicking on the i button above. I've already got the list of sheet names here. To populate the list of sheet names, we are just going to use the data validation. So we'll click the cell, go to data tab, click on data validation, select list and in the source, We'll select all the sheet names that are the months and click OK. So we'll get the list of all the months over here. Similarly, we are going to populate the product ID based on which we will fetch the values in other cells. So again, we'll go to data tab, click on data validation, select list. In the source, we'll go to any of the sheet and select all the product IDs as the product IDs are same in all the sheets and we click OK. So we'll get the list of all the product IDs over here. So we have the sheet names and the product IDs ready. Now let's see how we can fetch values in other cells. We'll start with the VLOOKUP formula. So in the product cell, We'll type equal to VLOOKUP. Lookup value. So the lookup value is the product ID. We'll select the product ID cell over here and we'll freeze it by pressing F4. The next is the table array. So the data we are going to fetch is from the months and the month sheet. And we have entered all the months over here. So what we are going to do is we are going to use the switch formula over here. So it is the expression what we are going to enter over here. So expression will be the month. So we'll select the month over here. 
will again freeze this so press f4 value so the value will be either the name of the sheets so it can be april may june july august september october so we are going to type april if the data if the data what we are going to select is april so you get the data from for the result one will get the data from the table april which we had created in the all the sheets so that will be tbl april suppose we have selected the month as may so we'll type the value 2 as may and the result will be from the month of may which is the sheet may so it will be tbl may so on and so forth for the value 3 if the sheet or the data which we select here is june the result will be from the sheet june so we had created a table of tbl june value 4 if we select the month as july the data will be fresh the table table july if we select the cell as august Result will be fetched from the data or from the table August. If we select the cell as September or the month as September, data will be fetched from the table September. And we close the bracket column index so the headers are all the same in all the sheets so the column index where the product is the second column so we'll select we'll enter 2 comma 0 and we close the bracket and press enter So we have selected the month as July and the product ID is PD011. So we'll get the product as printer. If we just have to go to July sheet and select the and check the product ID as PD011. So we'll see the product name is printer. So let's go back to this value sheet. Now we have to get the or fetch the values of amount, quantity, and total. So we'll just select the formula and we'll paste it in amount column. Here we need to change the column index number. So amount the column index number will be three as it is in the third column. So one, two, three, and press enter. You'll get the amount or the unit price. So in other sheets, I have entered as unit price. We'll just rename it here. For quantity, we'll place the column index as four. For total, we'll change the column index as 5. Now let's change the month name or the sheet name. So we'll go to August and we'll change the product ID to 4. So we'll go in the sheet August and we'll check for the product ID PD004. So that is switch. 
and these are the values so if you look at the values they are the same which is there in the august sheet for the product id pd004 let's check it again for some other sheet say october pd010 so it is 180000 for scanner so you can see the same values which has been fetched in this sheet so you can keep changing the product id and the sheet name and you will get the values over here so one more thing which i wanted to show you is instead of writing the column index number if you have large data you can also use the column function for the array we'll select the product id that is the b5 the first column colon you will get the b5 value again instead of that we will select the second column that is c5 and we will freeze the first column that is b5 by pressing f4 and press enter so we haven't closed bracket for columns And if you just track it, you will get all the other values based on the product by using the column formula. Suppose I change it to PD008 for the month of May, it is 18,000. Wireless mouse. 18,000 wireless mouse 18,000 so that is how you can also use the column function or the column formula if you have a large data and you don't want to every time enter or change the column index like we did earlier say entering the column index as 2 or 3 for the unit price 4 for the quantity and 5 for the total so rather entering uh, manually we can just change it to the column function or the column formula and you can drag the values over there so this is how you can use the vlookup formula with the switch formula which will help you fetch the values from different sheets to a particular sheet when you have a huge or the large data i hope you enjoyed this video if you did do keep it a thumbs up do subscribe if you aren't subscribed yet i'll catch you in the next video